Yo. Do you wanna walk? Do you wanna go on a walk? Huh? Oh. Hey, let's go on a walk. Let's go, bro. So, er, uh, I don't know what's happening today. I have basically the rest of the week, which I'm actually pretty excited about. I get to draw. Um, hello. Oh, I thought I fucking, hold on a second. Actually not fucking crazy busy because I found a fucking house. I was like planning on spending all week fucking looking for it. So it's, I actually have like two days to draw, which is exciting as fuck. Go get it. Um, in the Drake push of beef. I know some people are so scared. Shout out to you if you sat through that yesterday and you don't give a fuck about this stuff. I know that when things are on the internet a lot, it's easy to be like, dude, I don't give a fuck about this. I don't give a fuck about this. In hip hop right now, because everyone's just been kind of like, there's been a lull, but I get it. You know, it's like people are going off about sports. I'm like, dude, who gives a fuck? But regardless, I forgot about the bait aspect, which would've been a great. Dude, I gotta start working on my clickbait or something because I can make great. I just want to be the best clickbaiter. You know what I mean? I'm offense to anybody. I don't want to trick anyone to watch my videos. I just think I could come up with the funniest clickbait. But basically, the backstory is that Cash Money never paid Pharrell for the beat. So what happened to that boy? Clips were in Bape the entire time. Wayne wanted to get some Bape. Nego didn't want Wayne wearing Bape. And then all of a sudden, Wayne was wearing bait. Oh, and then the song, Mr. Me Too. But yeah, that's the whole, that's where the beef started. And I forgot all that yesterday. I left, I left it out. I honestly forgot that it started with the bait thing. My boy Rack says, he's not mistaken. It was actually Pharrell's own billionaire boys club label, which Wayne had asked to endorse and specifically asked not to wear. So he specifically asked not to wear this shit, started wearing it. So BBC, bait, it's all kind of the... You know, it's all has context. It's pretty interesting stuff. If you give a fuck. If you don't give a fuck, it's probably like, you know, again, who cares? But you know, you know, we live in a diverse world. We gotta entertain ideas sometimes. I'm bad about doing it. You're probably bad about doing it. Let's just all be better. Let's also wait on Earn to hear what kind of antics he has. He called me very early this morning, so. No. I don't taking his ass to the dog. I don't have my car. And you know what's funny? Every time I tell you, you go, I don't care. It doesn't matter. You don't have to tell me. And I'm like, I'm not gonna tell him today. Why are you telling this stupid fucking story? Because then today I was like, I'm not going to tell him. He's not going to be bothered. We're going to be playing and moving shit all day. Why even bother him? I already called him at 830. I'm not going to call we'll him back. downstairs then. I do it. I do it in my head. I said, I should tell him that I don't have the car today. I'm only annoyed because you call me at like 8 o'clock in the morning and you're like, hey, this is what I'm doing. As if I give a shit. Well, I like to be on it. I like to That's like, fine. you were like, come over and get it ready. I know you're on it by the one time you get here at 1130 and you're like, hey, this is what happened while I was gone. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, cool. Did a bunch of shit this morning, man. Good job. Not like waking me up to be like, hey, I'm working on this, bro. Just so you know. Yeah, that's that's where I get. Hot out here, boy. No more sticks, dude. It's that old man's walking thing thing and fucking drugs or the rapture happened and then they fucking disappeared. My fucker was wearing nothing but underwear and socks. We're playing catch. Activation in the morning of the fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fine. I'm yeah, sitting fine. right he's here. Sitting, he's sitting right here. Just fucking switch it, yeah. dog. God damn. It's not, not NASA secrets. It's fucking cable. And your phone died. Why are you like? Why are you trying to upsell me while I'm moving? Like, bro, I'm yeah. moving. Like, yeah, you know what? I'm moving. I have all this shit going on. Why don't I switch my cell phone service to? Fuck it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got nothing else better to do today. Fuck. Who's we? What are we? Yeah. What? Like, get, what? shut the fuck up. Like, we, bitch. We, my family. Like, I what that's the fuck why are you I don't even know what the fuck he's talking. I'm like, like, God damn, Comcast. It just. Well, wait. Are you not Teddy? Wait. Like, oh. I need to make sure. Are you authorized on this account? It's cable, fool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So sick and tired of fucking passwords and authors like, just give me my shit. Like move the fucking goddamn service. Stop fucking making small talk with me. I got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jesus Christ. 
You wouldn't want anybody else paying your cable bill for you. Like what, people just move other people's service? Hey, yo, move the service over here. Never gonna notice. It's time to roll up some weed. Okay. Roll all this fucking silly shit today. This is the shit that I hate. This is why I hate doing shit like this. This what? I hate doing shit like this. Calling places. Oh, I know you do. It's the worst. They make it so impossible. In front of them at their desk is like, listen, you're gonna get 2,000 calls. But that's what's fucked up. I was like, you get 10 upgrades to your yeah. fucking phone. If you convert, you, if you yeah. convert this many, we're giving away some trips. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe you'll get the front parking space or yeah. whatever the fuck. That's yeah. so annoying. And what part of company meetings are like, all right, guys, here's what we're, this is a perfect opportunity when you're not saying anything to just upsell people. When you're typing something in, just upsell them. It's like, nobody wants to be upsold shit products from a shit company that already does shit. Like Comcast, no one would even use you. If if we didn't have to. Oh, by the way, we offer this new amazing service. No, by the way, we offer this new mediocre piece of shit service that you're gonna overpay for. We're gonna make it a headache to set up. You should go lay down. It got hot out there, huh? You got hot. You're still fucking panting. Yeah. Yeah, because it's hot outside, fool. You ain't built for this. You ain't built for this stuff. No. You built for the shade, bro. You built for the shade, bro. Hey. Hey, that boat out folks. Hey. Yo. Yo. Yo! Yo! Where are you going? <laughs> He's gonna try and get in your lap and see if you- East Coast Sour Diesel. He's fucking with you, dog. Are you fan? It's like, I don't want to talk to you about it. Just get the goddamn thing done at this, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to be nice. And really, he's doing a great job, but I don't want to tell him about my mood. I care about his mood. What's right on the move? Uh, just trying to move into a house, you know, instead of an apartment complex, so. I understand that. I can't live in an apartment complex. Yeah. Neighbors usually suck and they're loud, or they say, or they say I'm loud when I'm never even home. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I've had that happen before. I work like three jobs, and my dad is one neighbor. was like, You're always having your TV blasting. I'm like, I'm never home to watch TV. <laughs> like, uh, That's funny, man. That's not me. I get loud sometimes, though, but you know, it's just life. <laughs> I, do, I do too. Like, I'll listen to like music or something like that, but. I, but like, when I'm, when I'm legit, man, like, not even home, and I'm getting accused of being loud when I'm not home, like, that's Yeah. <laughs> One question, push it to your Drake. Push it to your drink? Drake, Drake. Out of push your tea or Drake? Yeah. Uh, I'll probably have to go push your tea. Nice, me too. You can stay on the phone. Nice, nice. All right, let's move. There's a couple songs that's all right, but he's not like one of my favorites. I think my favorite, my favorite rapper of all time would probably be Eminem, honestly. Yeah, I'm, I'm as good. I feel like he's not as good nowadays, but I feel like back in the oh, day. Definitely not. Definitely not as good as he was. And you know what it is? It's like he's not as hungry anymore. So it's like when you're full, you don't, you know, you don't eat as much. I, I agree, dude. That's what I've been saying. That, that is definitely true. That's what, that's what I, I feel the same way. The hunger. Yeah, because like when he first started off, he was like. He had a lot of motivation and like all this stuff and it's like it's kind of like it's kind of like working out you know what I mean like you, when you like if you're if you were just starting off you're like a little heavier and then you like lose all that weight and stuff like that you don't have to work as hard you know what I mean because you, you already got that you already achieved what you were wanting to get bro know? was woke dog I'll, all right we so let's move forward with the move I guess yeah 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 um that's what I'm doing right now <laughs> yeah I, I guess I don't like partake in this. Nice, nice. You say what you got on these phones, I understand. <laughs> yeah, my, my buddy said it's getting like pretty overcrowded out there though. I haven't been to Denver in like 10 years, so I don't know. Bro, come on. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's a little crazy, but it's cool. But, uh, alright, yeah, let's do this. I have different people. Uh, dude, I, I haven't played a video game in like years, to be honest with you, myself personally. 
working like three jobs. Yeah, I feel you, dude. It's hard to find time, but this just this just worked out, so it's it's cool. But uh, when we're done, I'll give you the link. You can you can check it out and come watch. It's hard to explain, dude. I'm I'm running out of time. So. Thank you. We'll see them. Um, and what? Well, I'll get like a text notification to, as a reminder. That was ridiculous. Oh, you heard the shots. <laughs> it was ridiculous. So you're on the phone for almost an hour. Oh, yeah. It's funny. He, he was like, June 6th just got taken up. I wanted to be Maybe like, it well. got taken up while you were fucking talking about nothing. Fucking like three days got taken up. Now June 8th. Shit. I mean, I might as well go on fucking vacation. God damn. That's Teddy, buddy. You were talking to me. Yeah, you weren't even talking to me, fuck. You're not gonna put that in the wall. What? Maybe when you hurt your hand, he just automatically feels the pain. I like how you me too. Uh, we lost Ernie, I got groceries on the way. Cause I do have to survive for the next uh, week or weekend, whatever. Um, but it looks like I'm gonna move out of here on Tuesday. So we found a mover that packs up your stuff and takes it over. It's not that, it's like a hundred and change an hour. 130 an hour for three people, not each, but Per, you know, whatever. So I might try and pack up some of the stuff myself just to condense that time this weekend over the next couple of days because it's really just motivated to move right now. It kind of sucks. Granted, they're giving me two weeks free, but they're charging me two weeks here and I'm really sad that I have to give them like two grand. Honestly, think if I could get away with it. I was just thinking about Airbnb in my apartment, you know? Just leave like, I don't know. I'll just go buy an air mattress, put it in the middle, but like, here you go. This is what you get. <laughs> I really, I don't know, my shoes, dude. Like, I don't, I talked to the plug. I was like, yo, what's up with that box? He says, oh, you're good. <laughs> and I was like, cool. Can I get the, can I get the tracking number maybe? And then he never hit me back. It's cool. He's a real good friend. So I'm not really, too, I'm not too worried about it, but it's just funny. Cause I'm not used to it. I'm not used to waiting on shoes. And now I'm like, I feel like, what the fuck, man? I'm waiting. They've been out for a week and I don't have them yet. What the fuck? Well, yeah, it's time to start packing this shit up all the shoes have to go i sold a couple of pairs of shoes so what i've been doing kind of silently on twitter if you don't have twitter i don't have to tell you man twitter's where it's at uh i'm doing what i'm calling my grail sale i guess i have a bunch of doubles and triples yesterday i sold trip yesterday i sold a pair of triple white 1.0s uh, i have a pending sale for the kith ronnie's I was getting rid of the day one here, these. I'm getting rid of my double of these just because I have them. Uh, I'm actually getting these for pretty cheap, like 200 bucks shipped. These no one grabbed yet, and I'm gonna throw some more on Twitter later. I do have a bunch of doubles of stuff that I just, as much as I wanna keep like having all this shit on ice, I, dude, I'm spending so much fucking money. Like moving, tour shit, moving, <sighs> tour shit. Anyway, holler, holler, holler. Groceries. Yeah, I'm okay. Since I do get asked still like a lot like what I eat mostly, especially now when I'm eating healthy, well, clean, whatever people call it. This is what I eat that makes me not feel like shit. It makes my body carry less fat on it. So mushrooms, avocados, uh, and it's just pink or whatever. Himalayan pink salt is kind of clutch. Regular salt is really not that great. And this might not even be amazing, but uh, we got walnuts. We're building this to make, make salads really easy. Jerry cheese. This is prosciutto. I accidentally bought a pound of it. I didn't mean to. Salami. Cabbage. Turkey I got. A little bit for Omar. Steak. Cauliflower. Chicken. Brussels sprouts. The bad stuff here is the processed shit, which is, you know, try to minimize as much as possible, but it does happen. And then stuff I already usually eat is kale. I eat a ton, a ton of kale. Like more kale than you can imagine. Eggs. Uh, yeah, bacon is like the only really. Bacon products are like, you know, done a bunch of water, roar. This was for when I was sick, but I did not get drink. It just got delivered just in case I needed it. Didn't get drank, so I'm gonna throw these out. Just so you know. We're not on no soda shit. It's just here. It's here just in case. All right, so I'm gonna make some food. It is, uh, what time is it? Oh, yeah, it's 3.30. I'm making food and I'm going to the gym. Woo! Okay, so today, life is crazy. Uh, I'm just trying to get this move done so that I can concentrate on what's coming up next, which is really trying to do a, um, you know, a tour. And I say tour, some people get really, yo, chill, bro, chill. Some people get really upset. Uh, they're not upset with me, they're upset with themselves because they don't understand, but 
when I say tour, I, I don't think that I'm Michael Jackson or anything. I, I, it's just literally like I want to do a pop-up tour, you know, like a t-shirt, whatever, a vlog tour, you know, whatever. I want to fucking travel around the country. That's what I want to do, and I want to make clothing as I do it. But uh, in the midst of all this, of course, uh, I do have online drops. Another thing that people often are like, oh man, you drop a lot, you drop a lot, da 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 Yes, I do. And the reason that I drop a lot is so that I can support the employees that I have now. When you want things like, there's a big disconnect with big brands like Walmart, Amazon, Adidas, uh, anyone that has like a huge big company, right? You know, they process orders quickly, usually, even though I'm waiting on a package from Adidas for like a week. Itemized departments, everything's smooth, you know, supposed to. When you start selling a product just by yourself and you don't put business shit in place, uh, you're not able to offer the service that people are used to. You know, you can't do customer service. You can't have someone answering emails doing customer service if you're not paying them. You can't print your own shirts because I own a print shop. Me and Sager have a print shop. So you can't do all that, the overhead, without producing uh, enough stuff to make it happen every week. And that's just like what it is. So that's why uh, the growth of this has been amazing. And that's why we continue to grow it and continue to expand. But we also continue to stress ourselves the fuck out. To clear one thing up, in order to um, have a successful business, you kind of have to be in business. I can't be out of business one week and in business the next week. Doesn't mean that you have to cop every week. People, people who feel the shit that I do, it's awesome that some of you cop every week. It's crazy. You guys know I love you. Even if you don't cop anything, I love you. No, there's no obligation here, basically. But um, what I do like to explain, I have an older video where the death of Boost God, where uh, I explained why I don't do Boost God clothing anymore. I explain what the TED logo is, what AI is, what Happy Cry is, and what You Are Your Enemy is. Now I'm moving, not moving on, but adding another chapter. Something I've been working on for a while. I actually came up with this uh, writing music. I had a lyric that was rumors and the rules, and um, it just kind of clicked with me and stuck with me and made me analyze what I think. So today I was talking to my boy Scruff, me clean up some of the designs so they're print ready. We're talking about, uh, you know, he's like, oh, what's your inspiration behind it? And then I felt, you know, the need to explain it. So the real explanation is this, the love and fear thing. I've had the words faith, I have the word faith tattooed on my right hand. I'm not religious. I have the word fear tattooed on my left hand. The very yin and yang, you know, I have the six on this hand as well, as well as the nine so that's on the same hand. It's the yin and yang of things, you know, and it's sort of the, uh, you either operate from one or the other, you know, either love, faith, or fear. You know, what's your motivation? Like, what is driving you? Your, what is driving your thought? I feel like in the world we live in, the world that I was born into, there's a lot of talk. You know, there's a lot of opinions. There's a lot of people telling you what they think they know. There's a lot of people telling you what they heard. There's people who are warning you, who are scaring you, who are projecting onto you. There's just really, it's really hard to just exist as an individual. You know, it's really hard, you know, from the moment that you're shot into the fucking universe into the earth and you come out a crying baby like you don't know what the fuck is going on and basically people are telling you what's going on until you formed your own opinion about what the hell's around you right so rumors and rules and all the things that i've done you know when i was in high school when i had ambitions to be a pro skateboarder i heard and then i had ambitions to be a tattooer and people told me oh, you can't do that you know there are all these rules there are all these people telling me how to do things this way or that way then there was rumors there's people just whispering like talking shit making me feel bad about myself like oh man should i be doing this am i wasting my time am i not good enough for this that and then that continuously happened in my entire life you know at one point i was a tattooer and I broke off and wanted to make hip hop. I was a well-known tattoo, plenty of accolades tattooing, you know, decided I wanted to work on music and like learn a new craft. And a lot of my peers fucking turned on me and made fun of me. Music propelled me into things in my life that opened up all kinds of new doors. Same thing when I started buying shoes, when I fucking started vlogging, you know, like my friends, people who you see today doubted me, you know, and they didn't doubt me for any other reason than that sometimes they doubt themselves. And people doubt themselves because of rumors, and rule. And those are the two things that I feel like control fear completely. Like anytime you want to make a leap, anytime you want to excel past maybe your circle, people around you, uh, anytime you want to elevate your life, there's always gatekeepers. And a lot of times those gatekeepers are friends and family, peers, people you work with. Yes, competition, like whatever. Really about finding that inner peace, not being able to be brought from your center and just focusing on like what your truth is. That's like the whole thing is people like live your truth, live your, but it really is that shit that's the shit and you've really got to like silence all the bullshit around you kind of like what the whole thing is the tagline for rumors and rules is everything you've ever feared it's just yeah it's just that thing it's just 
It's that moment that you've decided you want to do something and you have all this drive and all of this uh, inspiration and someone comes along and just fucking pulls the wind right out of your sails on some dumb shit because they didn't do it or because uh, that's not allowed. My, that my rumors and rules is a fuck you to that whole vibe. That's what it is. Just so you know, uh, drop will be coming soon. Um, I got a lot of details to work out with. It. I'll be working on it all weekend. I'm actually super blessed and like really fucking excited that I don't have to look at houses all week for the rest of the week and the weekend. And I can literally sit here, pack a little bit, draw a little bit. I have one serious meeting tomorrow. All right, so uh, I'm out. Unless some shoes show up in the mail, I'll unbox them. If they even they come in, as long as they, if they come in two seconds before the upload, I'll fucking unbox some shits for you. But they're not here, and I don't know what the fuck's going on. And I moved too, which is stressing me out too. People are still sending me shit, and I'm not even here. All right, I'm out. That's the day. Love y'all. Peace. Oh yes, I saw the fucking a life Crocs. I don't want to talk about it. Still love a life. All right, peace.